All right, everyone, here we go. It's an all signs reading. It doesn't matter what your sign is. Straight up energy reading, blah, blah, blah. The same shit I say every time, right? This is Saturn retrograde in Pisces. That's important. That's a powerful energy. There's a lot going on at the top of July. It's going to be a very busy week for yours truly around here. That keep trying to keep up with it all. That being said, this is the anchor of it. This is the ground floor, the basement, the foundation of what's going to be going on, especially beyond July, because this, this goes on for many months, as does Neptune retrograde, which is on deck next. But this is the foundation energy. What is it? Well, I normally use the analogy about the teacher leaves the room and the students go crazy. Yeah, you're going to hear all kinds of other readers or astrology places, whatever, telling you about all kinds of breaks you're going to get from the karma and all of that and the karmic lessons and yeah, kind of to a point. This particular Saturn retrograde in Pisces, it blends with Neptune retrograde, creates a lot of clarity, but that clarity comes with the teacher giving an order before he or she leaves the room. And it's uh, class, I'm going to be leaving the room for a little while. While I'm gone, rather than fucking off and throwing spitballs all over the place, I want you to clean your desks. All right? Like that. What does clean your desk mean? Well, in the pre-shuffle, it means three swords. I've got somebody here with your connection, right? Attached to you and in, in incoming energy. Three swords crossed by three wands. They're looking at it. And I think it, it's all about your connection because it's the chariot right here. And that's the Cancerian energy. It's the hot spot. It's the theme energy of this cycle. I think they do something about it. I think they do something about this messy desk. All right. Whatever that means to you, it means to you. To them, it's probably about your connection and the mess it's caused with their heart energy. They've got something. They, you know, they're doing something about it. I see a Knight of Cups. There's some good news for you, right? This is just the surface energy. It's just a shuffle I do before I hit record just to make sure I'm right and I'm feeling the energy right. I, I am. I will say this. There's always a but with these incoming energies on the DM side in this cycle. Uh, you do have somebody coming towards you. They a bit, with the Five of Cups and Four of Cups, a bit pessimistic. I, I don't know how... It, take it how you want to take it. Take it as it resonates. But they are. I do have two soulmates coming together who right now are about as ripped up as these two hearts. All right? Definitely a separation. The Three of Swords, bookended by the Two of Cups, pessimism or not, is a powerful energy of two soulmates coming together because, as I've told you many times, right, Three of Swords is the main card in my experience that ends the helps to end, anyway, the separation period or the separation phase of the soulmate cycle. You have the other one in here, too. It's part of the pessimistic energy with the Five of Cups. All right? So that's the pre-shuffle. Let's shuffle the deck. Let's see where we go. So the teacher leaves the room. We get a break from some karmic lessons for a while, but the teacher leaves in order. Clean your desk while I'm gone. Right? Okay. I don't know what happens if we don't. I don't know what the consequences are, probably. I don't know. Who knows? But it's time to clean the desk for sure. Um, let's see. Let's see where we're going here. Um, I'm just going to pull the short range energy here. I'm going to pull like July into the early part of August. All right. I'm not divining that far out. It's a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you, but if the title brought you in here or you found Steve Love Cherry here for a reason, this reading is timeless. Whenever you find it, you're meant to find it because you're all moving different speeds on your timeline. This first card out is before the cut. It's why the fuck are we here? And it's a Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups came back. That's why we're here. It's a pessimistic Knight of Cups. I mean, it is. I, I showed you, showed it to you in the pre-shuffle. It had a Five of Cups and a Four of Cups with it. I, I, that reads as pessimism to me. Take it how you want, but yeah, somebody's coming to fix that three swords, whatever that three swords is. You're their desk. In my, in case you know, some people don't often get an, don't get analogies sometimes. You're the desk that needs cleaning. Your connection is the desk that needs cleaning. All right, nobody is listening anyway. I don't know. Listening to the energy. What comes after the cut? Eight swords. <whistles> um, it's not really. It's it's they feel. I feel like they have to. That's sort of the. That's kind of that energy of pessimism that's with that Knight of Cups. It's not really pessimism as much as oh, all right, like that. You know, I just sort of acted it out for you. It's like oh, all right. You know, I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna fix this. I'm gonna clean the desk. I'd rather not clean the desk while the teacher's out of the room. I'd rather spit some spitballs at the nerdy kid in the back. 
but I'm going to clean my desk. Fine. Somebody here feels trapped by this energy. They feel like they're not being given a choice. It's in their head. It's, we're always up in our head with the Eight of Swords, right? We can get out of this. It's self-imposed. But whatever. I say let them feel that way. You know? Fine. <laughs> Go ahead. Finally get something done here, you know? Let's give the deck a final shuffle. It's a pretty powerful Saturn retrograde. It's going to be very helpful. It's going to be helpful to societal energies, too. But in the soulmate cycle, there's a lot of desk cleaning going to be happening. Let's see where we're at, especially when, again, it's going to be a busy week for me around here. Neptune, retrograde, Mercury changing signs, a new moon in fucking cancer, the hot spot of the connection cycle. Holy crap. All right. And then on Sunday, a week from now, Jupiter and the North Node are going to have sextile together. Oh, man, I'm going to have to pull on that for sure. Busy, busy, busy. All right, let's go. Let's shuffle the deck here. Give us a reading, universe. Give me the soulmate cycle with the influence. Short range. Short range with the influence of Saturn retrograde in Pisces. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <whistles> Overall energy is the King of Cups. Somebody coming to tell you how they feel. What's under that? Three of Pentacles. Yeah. Again, cleaning the desk. That's a clean desk right there. There's words that have been left unsaid in order to build on a solid foundation you need good materials and what did i say earlier rewind what did i say before i even showed you the pre-shuffle i talked about saturn retrograde i said it's a busy week there's a lot going on but this here this is the foundation of it all right rock solid foundation uh, there's some things emotional things that need to be addressed somebody's aware of that somebody attached to you is aware of that I think they might be trying to control the narrative, as we say, meaning decide what they're going to say or how you know how much you hear. But with that eight of swords that came after the cut, I don't think they're having much luck controlling the narrative. All right, so let's go. Let's do this. We're going to clarify later with the witches. Let's put that king of cups right there. Maybe straighten it out. Okay, or not. Whatever. Right here's the energy around your connection. Right here's how whoever the fuck this is attached to you is behaving in real life in 3D. Right here's their soul. It bookends your soul connection. Right here's the uh, potential. Well, I Freudian slipped, didn't I? I do it sometimes. So right here is the message from the universe, the hidden energy, and it is tied directly. This message from the universe will be tied directly to our potential final outcome because I Freudian slipped and almost called this the final outcome. I'm not here. I just kind of let things happen and flow with the energy. So this card here, these three cards, the energy or connection, this here, the hidden energy, and the potential final outcome are all tied together. And by default, that ties them to the 3D energies. So this is a big reading. I'm just going to pull it all at once. I'm just going to pull it all at once and go through it. It's very rare if you've been here a while that I do that because energy reading is about pulling back the layers. But I've got four things that are tied together here and that soul energy will be interesting to know so let's do that i'll clarify everything obviously i'll explain the cards i'll clarify everything oh man we're frozen i can't believe it unbelievable amount of energy see i told you hold on unbelievable amount of energy old steve hand right there frozen okay all right whatever anyway i always catch it i check it these days i check it before i do anything about it but there's a lot of energy here this is going to be a busy week i'll tell you let's do it I'll clarify everything to us some universe cards at the end. There's a link for an extended in the description because, of course, this is insane energy. Uh, your energy of your connection is the Queen of Wands. The 3D energy around this person is the Ace of Swords. I wouldn't normally do a reading like this. This isn't proper energy reading, but I have to today because of uh, the fusing of these four cards right here. Uh, the message from the universe is the Six of Pentacles, and the potential final outcome is the Ten of Cups. Uh, Let's start here. Okay. I understand how they tie together now. In order, in order, The reason I had to do this is because they're tied together. In order to read this one, I need to know what these three are. In order to read this one, I need to know what those three are, etc., etc. So, I had no choice. It's very rare that that happens in a Steve Love Tarot reading. But it's happened. Uh, let's talk about the Queen of Wands. I'm, and I'm going to do this. I'm going to talk about the card and then clarify it. And then go through each, each all the way around. So, here we go. Queen of Wands, energy of your connection. Um, it's fakey McFakerman energy. It's somebody who knows that they want to give to it. They've got something they want to speak, but again, they're trying to control the narrative. It's also an attractive energy. Um, I've got sort of a, a way to describe this. On one side, I think it's the DF side, okay? I think. 
And I, feel, I think if you think about what I'm saying, you'll kind of catch my drift, and that's all you have to do. One side of this connection feels like a, a bit like you might feel if you've been bitten by a, a rattlesnake out in the woods and there's no one around. This, this connection, whoever this person is, because there's no guarantee you know who I'm talking about, but if you want to try and figure it out, it's somebody who made you feel like you're alone on a hike, you're just out enjoying the day, and the damn snake bites you. Now what? It's like that. And then you're stuck with that poison sort of running through you, right? So that's just a secondary energy there. I do have somebody very attracted to somebody else. Anyway, let's see. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. Tell me about it. Yeah. What did I say? Again, the primary... I'm going to talk about that. Uh, I'm going to talk about that because the incoming energy, yeah, they got a truth to say. They're trying to control the narrative. Somebody is coming to give to this someone who ran from it. But on uh, what I believe is the DF side, there's your Eight of Swords. It's like, oh, this again, sort of a thing. Right? All right. Let's see. Don't feel like that because... It ends nicely. It kind of does for you. This is your final outcome. It's ten cups. So, okay. What's on top? That ain't bad. Queen of Pan uh, Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, wish I wish. Uh, Page of Pentacles. But because I Freudian slipped it, I will say somebody here is going to puff themselves up to be bigger than who they are. Okay. On one side, the DM side coming in is what I'm reading. The DF side. Well, you're going to learn something. And it's part, what you learn here, what happens during Saturn retrograde, the desk clean out, if you will, helps propel you into pure Queen of Pentacles energy. It, it elevates you. It raises your vibration. Okay? All right. But yeah, somebody else is thinking about every word they're going to say, all that kind of shit. Why is the Queen of, uh, again, I almost, I want to call it a Queen because I'm just reading your energy. Why is the Page of Pentacles there? King of Swords. Yeah. Somebody's coming with the truth, but it's it's a smaller truth than what it is. Again, they're trying to figure out how much truth to tell, how much do I give, and the universe is trying to tell them with the star here, you give all of it. Right? And and that's they're having none of that. But again, at the end of the day, there's something you learn. There's a, for just talking about the DF side, which is most of my viewers, you guys, there's a truth that you learn here, which greatly greatly elevates you. It, it's help, it helps you in getting this happily ever after ending for sure. Let's talk about uh, Ace of Swords here. Because I do have somebody who's facing some truths. They're facing the fact the teacher says, I'm going now, clean your desks while I'm gone. They open their desk and they look and there's a lot of pain there. Right? There's three swords, they want to get it down to one. <laughs> so the truth of the matter is, somebody here is looking at it. Somebody's looking at a lot in their life during this retrograde. We all will be. It's a bit of a decluttering phase. I think I may have mentioned that in my write-up for July for sure. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Tell me about Archangel Michael Ace of Swords energy here while I turn my fan on because it's fucking warm in here. It's crossed by the Nine of Wands. Yeah. Things they didn't want to look at, they have to look. This is why they feel trapped. You know, I remember the Eight of Swords after the cut. And I said they're doing it to themselves. The energy's not trapping them. It's fine. But it's sort of like usually this person puts up a wall and blocks all of this. But the problem is, look at that wall. You can see right through it, can't you? That's the best wall they could put up. It doesn't block it. It doesn't block the shit they need to look at. So, again, they feel like they have to. Well, I guess I have to see it then. Imagine you had neighbors on the other side and they like to lay around, right, in the sunbathing in the nude. But they're not people you want to see in the nude. Right, so you just have to kind of see it. So, so you put up a fence, and that's the best fence you could put up. And it's like, oh fuck, man, I guess I'm stuck with it. Now I got to move my chair just right, so one little pole blocks it. It's that kind. That's the way the energy feels to me. Somebody's a little annoyed that they're looking at all these truths that they can't just shut it down the way they normally would. Hmm? Somebody's annoyed that the teacher left the room and said, "Clean your desk." Okay, what's on top? Strength card. Mm, why is the strength card here? Heart chakra, energy, king of cups. That's our overall energy. I always like when our overall energy shows up in the reading. The king of cups. With the stress. Again, somebody is just trying desperately. Here, I'll show you the picture. Trying desperately to stay on the rocks and not let too much water come in because that shell doesn't float real good. <laughs> Has a tendency to sink. Uh, but the heart chakra is too far open here in this connection. There's something about 
and it, it has a lot to do with Neptune going retrograde pretty much right on top of it. But there's something about this Saturn retrograde where the teacher leaves the room and like leaves the heart chakra on, right? Leaves the heart chakra on full blast sort of a thing. Um, it's, it's pretty strong energy for sure. Uh, which also kind of lifts people's libidos a bit, I think, a little bit. Okay, so they have a lot of feel. Somebody got a lot of feelings for you. They don't want it all to come gushing out. They don't want to say to you everything that they want to say, and that reflected over here with my little page, right? Uh, but again, this does teach you. It, it does have a happy ending for you. Okay. All right. What's going on with the star here in the soul? Now this book ends over here, and it's talking about the universe not really giving them a choice per se. You know, it's not really. This is part of why it all feels like it's all supposed to happen. And, and flew a flying out of the deck is a hangman landing on the table, right? It's crossed by the Four of Wands. And after the hangman, we already saw it, is the Four of Swords, okay? So it's almost an energy of what this is. The star is sometimes a delayed thing, a delayed wish, a delayed gratification. It's been stalled for a while, right? Now, a pathway is opening up. It's sort of like, even though the teachers leave, just to give you an analogy, even though the teachers leave in the room at, with and leaving an order to clean the desk, it's still kind of okay to clean the desk. It's not that bad because the teacher's not in the room. So you could still kind of fuck around a little bit. A path is opening up here. It's something that somebody feels like they, they almost, it's not that they have to do, but they should do it now. Somebody also has a new perspective on what, on what kind of healing they may need. Okay? This is a healing energy off of this. And I'll tell you what. I'm going to pull one more card and put it right down the middle. And that's the Page of Swords. It's a lot of disappointment here. Okay? There's a lot of disappointment. A lot. This person has disappointed themselves and a lot of people around them in the past. Okay. Alright. Well, let's talk about the Six of Pentacles then. Let's see. Jump... Let me fix that table. What the fuck's going on here? Tell me about the Six of Pentacles. Let's talk to the universe, see what it wants to tell us. Star is basically a divine timing energy. The energy is right for all of this to happen. It's like a, a perfect storm, which creates a busy week for me, but I don't mind. It's all right. Let's see where we go here. Six of Pentacles. What do we get? Another page. It's, yeah, again, yeah, we get it, universe. It's really just talking about somebody coming to give. And again, these, these four were tied together. They're coming to give. What makes them happy? The amount of truth that makes them happy. It's a small page energy. It's communication. It's a high. It's, it's a high how are you kind of thing. And small talk, shall we say. Okay. So somebody's coming with small talk. And at the same time, if, if that happens... If somebody comes, you think they're coming to tell you how much they love you and that they want you, and they end up asking you about, well, how do you, what, what do you think of this humidity lately? It's pretty crazy. You know, that kind of bullshit. They are aware. Just know that they are aware that they are disappointing themselves. Okay? They know. All right? What's on top? Yeah, see, right there, proof of what I just said, the four of cups. Look at that. Small talk. She came to bang, motherfucker. You're sitting there with your arms crossed talking about, what do you think of the humidity here? Do you think that the stream is making the humidity worse? or what? Boring the fuck out of Blondie here. It's small talk. Somebody's coming with small talk because they're trying to keep these waters at bay. I think they fail at keeping these waters at bay. I'm just going to make a prediction here. Why is the four of cups here? Nine of wands. Yeah. You, you'll be able to see right through it. Look at Look at Part of this is your energy. I talked about this, right? Growing your energy. This King of Swords here, you'll be able to see right through it. Your energy is attached to this King of Swords. It, it really is. Somebody here is sharing a small truth with you. You demand a large truth. You do learn something from this, which shows you, maybe it shows you the influence you have over somebody, which is always very powerful, which is always a very powerful thing to learn and can help you grow your energy. Either way, it's that wall again. That's not blocking much. Somebody thinks that they're, she, this guy thinks that she thinks, oh, well, they, I guess they don't, you know, have much more to say. But truth is, you can see right through it. And no problem at all. Okay, that's fine. So the universe is letting you know, expect some small talk. What's your final outcome, though? This ten cups has your energy attached to it. 
This is your final outcome, 10 cups. So what's 10 cups mean to my viewers? I don't have a devil on this table, and that worries me. Mm, a little bit. I don't. And I have your energy, partially anyway, attached to a king of swords here. Okay. I'm uh, mostly just talking to myself there, but you can listen in. <laughs> what the fuck? This is a what the fuck outcome for me, because I'm not really sure. You got somebody coming at you with small talk, wanting to clean, you know, clean out their desk just enough. There's a lot of feelings here. I could tell you they're very attracted to you. I knew that with the Queen of Wands, but I definitely know it with that strength card. Let's talk about Ten Cups, your final outcome. What is it? What is it? All right. What did I just point to? Queen of Wands, and I've been, I talked to myself about the King of Swords, which is on top of the Queen of Wands, and all the right. It's crossed by the Queen of Wands. Um... I'm going to give you a piece of advice here. Just, this is just the environmental energy around your final outcome of Ten Cups. Okay? Try to see the humor in things. Try to have a chuckle here. Okay? Try to, try to, I, normally I'd tell you to dig deep, right? And, and look for the deeper psychological meaning of why this guy's got his arms crossed and giving you small talk and all that stuff. Don't. Don't do that. The answer you seek is on the surface here. What'll make you the happiest, what'll make you chuckle, what'll make you fucking smile is, is all very much on the surface. It's in other words, a lot of times with people, and that makes sense here with this, the way this came out. A lot of times with people, and I've told you this before, I'll just remind you, it's what they don't say that, that counts, right? That matters. But moreover, Sometimes it's the things that they say that they didn't need to say. Pay attention to that. Pay attention to both. Read between the lines, which you can easily do because, you know, just think about the lines. Pretty easy to see, right? What's going on? Pretty easy to see the truth of this small talk, right? It's blaring, glaringly obvious that somebody's got more to say than what they're saying. But also, pay attention within the small talk of the things that they say, the things they add in that they don't need to, right? Police officers do it all the time. Ask somebody a simple question and they rattle off a whole bunch of stuff, which leads to more inquisitive questions like, well, why is that? Uh -huh. And then that's when they get themselves run in the computer, right? Ask you your name. You don't need to go on and on and on and talk about a whole bunch of other shit, right? Just answer the damn question. Well, somebody here might, might talk in, shall we say, run-on sentences. Pay attention to that. Pay attention to the things that they say that they didn't need to say. Just shit that they added in. All right, that's all I'm going to tell you. Your your true the true happiness in this maybe the chuckle you might get out of it to make the snake bite worthwhile lives in the surface on the surface. No need to dig too deep. All right, what's on top? See seven swords. Yeah, uh, I love that. I love it. Why is it ten cups here? Why is it ten cups? It's seven swords. I think you're going. Oh, I think yeah. Why is the seven swords here? The wheel of fortune. I think you're going to see, th I think somebody, anytime somebody comes and tries to keep the emotions at bay and comes with small talk, it counts within the energy because the energy is binary. It's zeros and ones. There's no gray area. It's sort of a lie of omission. Okay? I think you're going to spot the lies of omission, right? Because this is Seven of Swords. It's deception. And why is it here? the Wheel of Fortune, and I think you come out the victor in this by turning their own snake venom on them a little bit, right? Turning the table a little bit. In other words, when you see through their bullshit, right? There's the bullshit right there. When you see through it, go ahead and turn it on them. Let them know that you see through it. Call them on their shit, right? And I think, honestly, I think you'll actually, in the end, end up getting what you want out of this, strangely enough. And that's probably where the devil lives. I said during while I was shuffling, I think I said, I don't see a devil here, and that worries me. Here's, here's mild devil energy. The devil lives in what somebody is either not saying or the things they're adding that they didn't need to add. It lives on the surface, very much on the surface, very easy to spot. And all you got to do is call it out. So, I mean, how is this going to play out? Somebody going to show up, and, and you're going to be 
you know, uh, trying to fix something that you didn't even know needed fixing maybe, or just you're not sure why they're even there, why they're even still around, why they're even contacting you. For a lot of you, this is an older soulmate. Saturn is a very karmic planet. It's a very big energy. It tends, and the soulmate cycle right now, the energy seem to be bringing back and focusing on older connections, resolving old business, right? And there's a lot of, and I said already, there's a lot left unsaid here. Um, somebody coming to say it, and if they don't say enough, the universe says you should be able to turn it on them and get them to say it, get them to admit some things, all right? Calling the Queen of Wands, fakey McFakerman on their shit a little bit. All right, let's see what the universe wants to tell you. All right. This is going to be very interesting. It's going to make for a very interesting extended because I've got a, I've got a pile of psychological issues here with somebody. I mean, the guy with his arms crossed, it, it's a psych paper waiting to happen. Um, <laughs> I'll try to write it in the extended. I don't know. I mean, wow. All right, let's see what the universe wants to tell you. I'll open with you. I'll open the extended with you like I always do, or what I do when I can, uh, to find out what's going on with your own little journey through the uh, Saturn retrograde. Maybe we find out something here. As we pull three cards from the bottom and a crossing card. What do you want to tell my viewers, universe? What do you want to say? Hmm? What do you want to say? Say what you need to say, universe. <laughs> oh, fuck me. The Two of Cups. The High Priestess. Major Arcana. Major Arcana. Major Arcana. Major Arcana. It's all fucking Major Arcana. The whole goddamn message to you. Holy fuck. That's unreal. Um, it's sort of like an energy of... I mean, I don't even know how to describe this. Where do I even start with this? There's, you're finding out some kind of secret about yourself. I mean, I'm, I'm questioning the energy that's here. I, I'm trying to read for thousands of people. It's very fucking difficult in a situation like this. So I'm just going to paraphrase it and say, this is what I wrote about. In the, it literally is what I wrote about in my July write-up about that energy of remembering something a feeling and that something is t it's not a thing it's not a person it's an emotion that might be tied to a thing or a person but it's an emotion something you felt something's coming back it'll feel like nostalgia right it could be like deja vu whatever it is it it brings you so much fucking healing it's mind-blowing okay and yeah there is some serious growth that happens for you during this transit in the early stages of it because I'm pulling short range energy. The early stages of this Saturn retrograde. There's a lot that happens for you. All right. There really is. Um, yeah. It's just, I mean, that's just the message from the universe for you. What's under the Empress? Yeah. Look at this. Five wands under the Empress. Yeah. There's no resistance to this whatsoever. Meaning you don't have to do much. The five of wands for me reflects as a weak energy, right? Anything, it's sort of like an energy here where the universe definitely has your back because it's all major arcana. So things that have plagued you, maybe shit you haven't been able to figure out or you've been trying to find that damn emotion for a while and you can't find it, things just sort of, they find you. All right? That's it. It's a, a little bit of the energy I talked about. I think it was in the Friday reading, this past Friday, where I talked about, I think it was the Friday reading. I always wash the readings when I'm done where I talked about an energy that just wasn't attracted to you before is now all of a sudden very attracted to you yeah pretty much everything is attracted to you at this point the environmental energy around you is 417 hertz of fucking pure empress energy all right so it's it's really 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 strong all right uh, a lot of sacral chakra action going on there so that's it. That's what I got for you. It's a nice, it's a nice retrograde for you. It's a real fucking shit burning headache for someone else who's still trying to hide emotions. They can't. They can't hide them in this energy. Nothing gets hidden behind a shitty ass wall like that. So they put up their wall and that's it. Alright? That's what happens. Alright. That's your reading. Not much of a wall goes up. That's the best wall they can build. And that, that could work out really well here. You might, that's why you might get a good chuckle when they try to pull their usual lie of omission shit and you can see right through it, right? Well, that'd give me a good chuckle. It always does when I see through people's bullshit. All right, that's your reading. Uh, if you want the extended, the link is in the description. I'm going to go a little digging into their bullshit and uh, dig into you a little bit more because this is worth pulling on. And we'll see if we can find ourselves a devil. 
got to be one here somewhere uh, beyond just this Seven of Swords. All right. Good luck.